It's Fitness Friday. We've all been inspired seeing Mikey's transformation in just a few months for his physique competition. Yeah, you guys, it was hard work, and I could not have done it without my good friend and trainer, Clarence White. So I've asked him to share his experience with us on today's Fitness Friday. Yes. So, Clarence, yeah, you've been working him because we've yes. seen him before and after. You're going to post that on our Living 808 pictures, yeah. and we're going to yeah. show. I, in fact, can we can we go ahead and see uh, for those of you? Yeah. Whoa. Look. Look at that. That's a few months of dedication yeah, and, and your pro tips on right. this. Oh, yeah. Yep. I created the program, he followed it, and now you see the end result. Aesthetics, obviously, a big part mm -hmm. of that, Huge but part. other mm -hmm. benefits of being fit. Uh, some of the other benefits, so a lot of times we look at exercise as being more uh, inclined to the, the physical activity, but it has a lot of significance as far as our mental health. Uh, anyone dealing with anxiety, depression, or even a negative mood, it can help uh, minimize or reduce some of the effects of that, but it can also boost our self-esteem, uh, give us clearer and better mental uh, cognitive function. So Nice, yeah. It, we were talking about this off camera too. Now, I know a lot of people, they're, they're kind of intimidated to go to the gym, mm. right. but what are some motivations or advice that you have for someone who's struggling to get into the fitness game, you know, who wants to commit? Right, right. So um, I would tell people to start where they feel the most comfortable, mm -hmm. whether that means doing something that's more aerobic, meaning like a walk, a hike, uh, swimming at the beach instead of just laying out. Um, build up that confidence to eventually join an exercise group, a class, or even, you know, uh, start a membership with a gym. Yeah. And then you also have the option of, you know, seeking someone like myself and with expertise that actually can get you on the right track, on the right path, and then allow you to, to grow and progress from there. Well, we cool. see we have some barbells here, so should we, should we get to the work, Claris? What do yes, you have for us? Yes, uh, I have some exercises that I would like to uh, kind of take you to sure. through so okay. the viewers can do at home, you know, if they choose to. Yeah, right. also, too, if you guys follow along at home, tag us, Living 808 TV, on social media, because we want to see you guys doing the same thing, too. We're going to post the whole workout after. Yeah. All right, we're going to start with Mikey, me. Okay. Okay. Should I go over here? Yeah, so, okay. Mikey, if you could, I'm going to have you grab the dumbbell. All right. So, what I'm going to have you do is a goblet squat. Okay. okay. So, you're familiar with this one. Yeah. Feet about shoulder width apart. You're actually going to hold the dumbbell this way. Okay. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> and on the top. On the top. Oh, on the top. Yeah, oh, my bad, man. There we go. I was goblet squat. I made sure right, he, right, right. He, he knew and he did. <laughs> okay, so feet about shoulder width apart. Okay. okay. You're gonna keep your chin straight. All right. You're gonna go down until the elbows hit the knees, and then pop straight up. Okay. So what we're targeting here is the lower half, the quadricep, the hamstring, and the glutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are obviously muscles that function in the process of sitting, standing, walking, running, so on and so forth. Functional fitness. Functional yeah. fitness. Okay. Oh, I feel that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially because we've been getting ready for the marathon that's coming up soon, so. Oh, yeah. Woo! Very, very focused on the, on the legs and the lower half. Okay. Okay. I have a dress on, but I can, I can do arm stuff. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I hear from women is um, they want to learn ways to develop the arm. Yes. Okay. Arm is on the front part, we have the bicep. On the back side, we have the tricep. Mm -hmm. uh, one way is to help, especially if you have any kind of issue with your skin back here, is to target that tricep. So what I'm going to have you do, Tanya, is just a couple reps. Okay. A little bicep curl. Okay, so what we're doing is we're focusing on this front part of the, the upper arm, the bicep. Got it. Dang, girl, you got guns. Right. Oh, <laughs> I love yeah. it. Yeah, you got to zoom in on that. She even has <laughs> the apple forming and everything. Nice. Okay, so this exercise right here targets that front part. Okay. And then if we could, we're going to go right into a dumbbell kickback. So now this one's going to target the, the tricep. So you're going to lean slightly forward, try to ele elevate the elbows up nice and high, and then extend the arms back and squeeze. Yep. Okay, so this is for the rear portion of the arm. Targets that, that area side. that right. you don't want waving after you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no waving. <laughs> no extra waving. Yeah. These are good, and I, I do a lot of these. If you have a lot in the gym you can do to target yep. this area too, right? Oh, yeah. They're different. Okay. We all want the Michelle Obama arms. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. So that's one thing I would advise for, for the viewers is um, if you're in doubt about exercises, you just you want to try to do something that mimics uh, basic daily body movements. Exactly. Yeah. So basically what we do is pushing motion, pulling motion. Um, we rotate with our core. We lean forward. We stand upright. And then also walking, jogging, walking up a flight of stairs. Right. I mean, it, um, so that would be the mindset as far as, like, how do I 
target certain muscles. You basically just have to think about how you move, how yeah. the body functions. Yeah. yeah, basic everyday stuff that like you said. Right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And a lot of people, if you guys have dumbbells at home, or even a beach mat, right? right. That's true. Right. It's beach mat, yoga mat. Exactly. It's yeah. great for the core. Yeah. That's so important to yeah. all these Some exercises. The, there, there's even exercises that you can do utilizing a chair. Mm -hmm. It really just depends on your creativity. And we live in an internet era too, so the information or the sources to information are they're endless now. Yeah, for sure. And speaking of information, you actually have a living 808 workout for all of our viewers. Right. So we're going to post that online. So right. make sure you guys check that out after the show and follow him on Instagram and we'll tag you too. Okay. So that people can ask you some questions too. Right. Or you can come visit me at Kakako Fitness, 815 Waimano. Awesome. They will get you on the fitness yes. train. Thank oh, you, yeah. Clarence, for coming in. Yeah, you're very welcome. God bless.